Greetings, greetings. I'm gonna get off the back of this bus again. I forget that it's a little loud back there, so uh get about right here. Share this information I was sharing with you. But yeah, as I was saying, that women, y'all are energy. Y'all plug to our life force, should I say. You know, we'll do all we can for you. Because we love you. You know what I'm saying? So, my main thing is sharing that with you is that uh, by being our energy, <laughs> I guess we can have positive and negative energy, huh? We can plug into a plug that seems good and then it starts draining from us. Instead of us feeding from each other and we plugging into you, we go out here and do what we got to do. And when you give us our energy, we giving it back to you. But see, we have to realize the situation in that. Because if you're our plug and we come to you to get energy from you. A lot of time it's from advice. Sometimes we want to sit down, you know, like they call pillow talk. You know what I'm saying? You know, we want to sit down, you talk to your woman about certain things. Y'all sit down, you want to build, uh, get things together as a, um, as a family or, or just as a couple. Or just as a mate, you know, as a mate. Y'all sit down, you build together, you talk on things, you, you, you plan on, on, on future events for you, your family, or whatever it is that you may do. If you want to take traveling or whatever it is, plan for the baby, plan for the family, whatever it is that you decide you want to do. The energy is coming between you, the plug, and the, um, and the socket. So... The socket and the plug, they work together. They both coincide. You know what I'm saying? Like the screw and the nut. You know what I'm saying? The nut screws into the, uh, the, the nut. Go, uh, the screw goes into the nut. And they, they connect. So, but it all depends on how tightly the screw is inside the nut. You know what I'm saying? You know. So, um, we got to really realize what's happening. And we got to build the energy that's going on. So, Women, you are very important. You are very important. I can just say person, something like that, but I'm trying to say something that hit home. More like you are very important. <laughs> I don't know why product is coming to my mind, but that's nowhere near what I'm trying to say. So that's not the word I want to use. But you are one of the most important. Yeah, you are really the most important thing in a man's life. Besides the creator, the the, the, the the creator of life, the the spirit of all, what should I say, the universe that gives life. That's the most important, you know. And besides besides life itself, women, you are the next best thing than children. So just sharing that with you because we've got to we've got to start being the kings and queens, you know, the rulers. The emperors, the empresses that we are, prince and princesses that we are. And by acting ignorant, uh, stupid, I mean, just in the, all the ill will, think about where that puts us at, you know. So we can talk a good game, but doing it and being in it is a different thing. So... Like I said, women, we love you. You are our energy. You are our source that we plug into to get the energy that we need to do what we can for you and for the world. So, is jealousy, envy, hatred, malice, especially working for the system. The system is really our enemy oh man just saying that it reminded me of this young sister man I love Ooh, now it's like I seen her I was like love at first sight with me and y'all may have seen she's on Facebook she said some Caucasian woman stepped to her for some women movement and she said that she the woman stepped to her for a woman movement and really to be with them against I own people. Well, y'all probably seen the sister. Um, I don't remember her name or anything like that, but I did. Uh, uh, I did 
gave some good quotes and uh, I shared her. Uh, she did two good ones that I shared in my past. But uh, man, it was like when I heard her speak, I fell in love. Just like um, uh, it's another sister that's been out for a long time. She had put a book out. She was on the Phil Donahue show. I think uh, Aziza, uh, Aliyah, I, I, don't, I don't remember her name, but she was on Hidden Colors. She spoke. And she always talking about um, how the woman, well, the black woman, well, I, I'm going to get, I don't want to say nothing wrong because I'm not right there right now to remember exactly what was said because I don't like quote nothing out of uh, context. So, but y'all may know who I'm speaking of. So, um, it's time to get back on, on, on point. It's time to get back on point because once once you get on point, we can really be on point. We're already trying to come up as some men. The young men don't even know their place because all they've been around is women. They haven't been around a man to show them how to be a man, you know. So some men are taking on things thinking what they think to be a man is not what a man really is. And... We got so, I don't want to talk bad about our children or our young men, but we see what's going on today, you know, and they have no leadership or no guidance. Some men want to be a guidance, but the, some women don't want the men to be a guidance to the children. They call themselves trying to protect when not, it's not really a protection. You really hurt me. And there's something that was said, if you remember, um, remember the Titans, when, um, when uh, Denzel Washington was talking to the um, to the coach, to the other coach, when he was in charge, and, and the, uh, the Caucasian coach was the um, was the uh, uh, defensive coach, and he told him, and Denzel told him, I, I'm I'm straight with with both sides. I'm not trying to cater to one when the other one, Petey, was was trying to be soft. You know what I'm saying? So he was straight up with him, letting them know that you're hurting them. You're hurting a man. He was being a man, showing them that you gotta, you gotta. Some things we gotta go through. By going through some things, by going through some things, it makes us stronger. That old saying, <clears throat> and I, you may have heard me say this before. That old saying, "What don't kill you makes you stronger." Something. Sometimes you go through that in order to get stronger. So, what don't kill you? Meaning the drugs, the alcohol. The liquor, the sex, overeating, all these things is habits that, that, that brings you down because of what I was sharing in the beginning of what I was saying in the uh, video in the, in the beginning, which is um, these things bring you down because these things bring you down because they bring you in a state of, of death in a sense to me. Bring you in a state of death because it brings your, your your morality down, your mindset and everything. It goes down and then the next thing you know you're in the pits. But some people with the help of the with the help of the creator that has put his anointing upon them, Father, I'm saying I'm saying anointing, but the spirit upon them in order to come up out of that death. Out of that deathbed, out of that pit of darkness and come up and then now they've been through something and they can share what they've been through because they've been through it. Some people have to go through some things in order to learn. Some people just hear, see, listen, and observe to learn. I'm one of those. But it's some things I've been through and it's some things that I, <laughs> I don't plan to do because I know what it'll do to you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the best thing is that it's an old a uh, proverb or it's an old saying that was said out of uh, that was uh, in Kemet. I think it says know thyself. When you know yourself you know you, you, you're, you're beyond the uh, well should I say you're far beyond the uh, the boundaries of, of getting caught up in certain things unless someone catch you up unless you're following somebody and get caught up. A lot of people follow women a lot of women follow men but the whole point is knowing yourself and standing strong on what it is that you know and what it is you know to do, you know. So, all I'm doing, I'm just sharing information as I always do. And I'm, I, I, I always try, try. My plan is always to put out good vibes because good vibes causes good works. 
talking negative and bad and all this and other stuff that 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 only that only causes confusion and bring in the other energy in order for people to feed off on. And <clears throat> something else to share. In a room full of women, mainly anybody, but mostly women, when they can be on one topic, somebody can bring, somebody can, can come and, and, and put something in there where people, all, that next thing, the whole room is talking about that certain topic. It could be, could everybody can be on a good topic, but when that bad topic come up, that bad apple, one bad apple um, uh, spoils the whole bunch, as they say, that's how it does. <clears throat> And that, that apple is nothing but a, a certain type of spirit that comes in from that conversation. Because when they hire, start hopping from each other, and next thing you know, the whole room is like that. So you have to cut it when you see it. And a lot of times, when you see and observe, key, observe, people with that type of attitude, mentality, it's time to stay away, step back, and watch. Sometimes you can approach the person and try to come at them with it uh, in a nice manner, which some accept and some don't. But uh, the point is, trying to correct each other in the best way we can, in the most humble and civilized way we can. So, well, I think I'm going to call this one energy because this is what it's about. Now, I don't know, I, I got on today to get out here to talk to you. It was a beautiful day, you know second day on on the 80 so um you know now i'm enjoying the bus ride by myself with, besides the queen that picked me up yesterday for the first time uh on this 80 so um you know we got to we, we got to start having positive vibes for each other that's the only way we're gonna grow the only way because this our spirit has, has been our spirit. When I say the spirit, and when I, I'm still going to, I'm still, and I'm standing on. I'm going to tell you like this: that one day to the Creator is a thousand years. So if it took six thousand years to create the uh, the earth, because the heaven was already here, to create the earth in six thousand years by those days that was mentioned in uh, uh, in uh, first in the first uh, chapter of Genesis, just saying it like that, and rested the seventh day, which is the seventh thousand year. And it says that the spirit, when it says Christ, was be, would be in the earth three days. We're coming into our third day and many people are being awoken in this day. The energy of the uh, the energy of the creator from the darkness that has been placed over the earth in Isaiah chapter sixty, the first three verses, when it says, "Arise, shine, arise, shine," we were called shine at one time. Proverbs and Bible word, "Arise, shine, for thy light has come." Thy light has come. For darkness have covered the earth and gross darkness the people. So we've been in darkness for quite some time. But the light is shining upon those of his anointed and the ones who want to be, I would say converted, but I just say wants to be anointed or wants to be uh, in the, in the, uh, wants to be in the enlightened. And the only way to do that is to study. You start studying. I always say study the, the laws of study. The Hammurabi Code. The Ma'at. The Torah and Tanakh, which is the Old Testament. You even find truth in the New Testament. I still say that you all the stuff that's in the New Testament, you study the old, it comes from there in the first place. You know, maybe worded different or whatever. Still, I ain't going to go off into all that. I'm just going to still say that. Then I'm still also going to say it's in the Quran. In the circle seven and many other different spiritual writings, you can even go into uh, Buddha and and um, and it's just so much other information out there that you can't. There's no excuse. You can't get away from it. So how you doing, sis? All right. So um, just sharing it with you, putting it out there. It's time to build and stop being scared of knowledge. Also. I just wanted to put this in there too because um, 
um, I believe we're coming into the end of Mercury retrograde, which is the shadow point of Mercury retrograde. And I keep speaking on this because I want you to research it because everything is relevant in this universe. The creator made everything. People, re the religious world has put you in the mindset of, oh, this is wrong and that is wrong and this is bad, that is bad. But if you realize the creator is the all of alls, is everything, everything we see, smell, touch, taste, whatever it is. The creator is energy. So, by looking at this, the planet is here for a reason. And when you look in the fourth day, I'll say it like that, when the fourth day, it says that the, um, the sun, moon, stars, they're here for uh, seasons. Now, I'm quoting, but... They're here for signs, seasons, and signs, seasons, days, signs, and seasons. I think that's how it go. I mean, you can go read it for yourself. You know, I, I'm not a quoter. I've never been a quoter. I just know where to go get it majority of the time. I haven't been in a lot of it lately because I've been studying other information after I, I really had, I can almost say mastered, but I wouldn't say mastered because there's so much in there that still comes later. So, but it's a lot I've come to know about the Bible. I studied it. I researched it, and not it, but it, it itself, the research was in it, and then I started getting out into the history of the information of the world, which is going, you know, I'm not going to get off into that, just another, all cut another conversation, but leading to Mercury Retrograde is a part of this system of the, the universal, or, or the part of the solar system which we are still connected to. And as I say, women come on there monthly. Why do they call it monthly? Why do they go by the moon in order to understand what it calls, or uh, uh, the reason why it's called a monthly? You know, the months. All these things are connected. And we have to stop being, uh, 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 what's that old, old, superstitious about certain information because religion has told you not to do certain things. When you realize certain things, certain things are there for a purpose, but then... Is how you use these certain things. That's the key. How you use it. You can use it for good. You can use it for evil. But then again, you can just observe it, recognize it, and understand it for what it is. That's me. I just understand things for what they are. I don't go into certain things using it against people or for people uh, on the spiritual text because I don't know if that's good or right or wrong or what have you, you know, for whatever reason. But... When it comes to me, knowing what I know, and I know we can speak things into existence, on the righteous plane, that's what I do. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now by sharing this information with you. So, thank you for your time, your patience, and your listening ear. I love you. I appreciate you. Keep doing the work. And women, as I was saying, you are our energy. You help us build. We love you. It's up to you. I hope you don't take this wrong, but it's up to you to love yourself in order for us to love you the way we need to. And I don't mean that in no derogatory or bad way, but love yourself, love us so we can love you. It's the spirit that's there we have to get out of our midst. It's coming this, in this country. It's over the world, but it's over this country more than I know as far as I'm concerned. So, once again, peace of love, peace of love.